another year, another Lombardi Trophy. The New England Patriots continue to collect Super Bowl titles like their one sale at Costco but with another championship also comes more added pressure to repeat, which makes the NFL Draft one of the most important parts of the roster building process going into next season. The Pats enjoyed significant contributions from 2018 first-round pick Sony Michel and hope to land a player with a similar impact early on in the 2019 draft. Do the rich keep getting richer? They certainly might if you're a New England fan, as this year the Pats could wind up with as many as 12 picks when compensatory selections are factored in. With those comp picks not slated to be announced until the end of the month, we'll for now take a look at the picks the team currently has on the books. The team will pick three times in the first two rounds and also owns a third-round pick from the Lions, as well as three seventh-round picks, their own plus picks, from Cleveland and Philadelphia, free agency and the combine will undoubtedly have a huge impact on how the preceding seven-round mock draft plays out, but for now, here's a look at what I think the Pats may do on draft day. While it's unlikely that cornerback Jason McCourty leaves in free agency this offseason, both he and twin brother Devin could potentially be on the market after next season. This means that the Patriots would be wise to continue to invest in their secondary of the future. The curious absence of last year's second-round pick Duke Dawson also means the team could refocus on the secondary in 2019, one player who could fit at the end of the first round, particularly if most of the premier edge rushers are off the board, is Washington cornerback Byron Murphy. While Murphy doesn't have quite the size and length that NFL teams have coveted in recent years, he has outstanding production and short area quickness. Despite playing in just 20 games with the Huskies, Murphy racked up six interceptions and 20 passes defended to go along with 74 total tackles. He can play a little out of control at times but there's no doubt that he has the short area quickness that the Patriots love to see in their defensive back prospects. Don't be surprised if Murphy posts one of the best three-cone times at the upcoming NFL Combine, something that, combined with his upside, could vault him into the first round. Page 2 TEMPE, as, in November 3, Arizona State Sun Devils defensive lineman Renel Wren, 95, sacks Utah Utes quarterback Jason Shelley, 15, during a college football game between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the Utah Utes on November 3, 2018, at Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona. Photo by Jacob Snow, Icon Sports Wire via Getty Images Bill Belichick has maintained a strong connection with former Arizona State head coach Todd Graham and one of the most intriguing prospects to come out of the Sun Devil program this year is Renal Wren. At 6 foot 5, 294 pounds, Wren is one of the most freakishly athletic interior defensive line prospects in the draft, but inconsistency on tape leaves a lot to be desired. There's no doubt that he can dominate at times, but whether he can do that consistently will be something most draft rooms will have to answer. Wren never quite was able to unlock his full potential with the Sun Devils but is exactly the type of player who could thrive in the Patriots system. The team has as good of an intel pipeline as any with the Belichick to Graham connection and New England could use that to pounce on a high ceiling player like Wren in the second round. The Patriots have scouted Duke pretty heavily over the course of the draft process and while there's certainly a possibility that it could be for quarterback Daniel Jones, there are plenty of other prospects on the Blue Devils roster to entice the Pats. Joe Giles Harris has been one of the ACC's best defenders in recent years, posting 80 tackles in each of the past three seasons. While he isn't likely to test off the charts athletically like LSU's Devin White, Giles Harris brings some of the best technique and instincts to the table out of the entire class of linebackers. Even with the outstanding play of Don to Hightower and Kyle Van Noy in 2018, both instrumental in the Pats' Super Bowl win, adding a player like Giles Harris to mold for the future would be a wise investment. Page 3 A.N.N. Arbor, me, in November 17, Michigan Wolverines tight end Zach Gentry, 83, runs with the ball after catching a pass during a game between the Indiana Hoosiers and the Michigan Wolverines, 4, on November 17, 2018 at Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, Michigan. 
photo by Scott W. Grau, Icon Sports Wire via Getty Images It's unclear when exactly we'll know whether Rob Gronkowski opts to hang up his spikes for good or play another season, but either way, it seems more and more likely that the Patriots will explore adding to the tight end position via the NFL Draft. Michigan's Zach Gentry, a former four-star high school quarterback prospect, is a massive target who could be a valuable red zone and downfield threat if Grant does decide to ride off into the sunset. At 6 foot 7, 248 pounds, Gentry possesses excellent quickness and size, which goes without saying, for the position and should be an intriguing prospect for many teams on draft day. He entered the NFL draft after two modestly productive seasons with the Wolverines, but the upside is certainly there to make him a worthy mid-round selection. If the Pats don't go with a tight end early in the draft, i.e., Iowa's Noah Fant or Alabama's Irv Smith Jr., Gentry could be a player who gets a look in the third or fourth round. While he won't provide much push in the run game as an inline blocker, the tools are there to develop Gentry into a dangerous and versatile weapon for Josh McDaniel's offense. Page 4 Use your arrows to browse Waco, TX, September 15, TJ. Photo by Cooper Neal, Getty Images, the Patriots have a habit of double-dipping from one school's draft prospect pool in recent years and there's a sense that this year's school could be none other than Duke. One player who I believe could make a lot of noise at the Combine and sneak his way into a mid-round selection is Blue Devils wide receiver TJ. Roaming. At just 5 foot 9, 170 pounds, Roming is the prototypical slot receiver who has drawn comparisons to former Duke wideout Jamison Crowder. Like Crowder, Roming is a dynamically quick player who could in all likelihood run in the four threes at the NFL Combine. Roming capped his 2018 season with a remarkable 240-yard, two-touchdown game in Duke's blowout bowl win against Temple, helping to solidify his status as a legit NFL prospect. With the uncertainty of Josh Gordon's situation, as well as Chris Hogan's and Cordero Patterson's impending free agency, the Pats could turn to a player like Roming as a dynamic receiving and special teams return weapon. Use your arrows to browse.